Hi guys, Mike from 24 Hour Solar Power here, and uh, yeah, thanks for supporting the channel. Um, we'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and share it. Um, it really helps our algorithms with our YouTube channel. So um, if you do get something out of this video, please smash the like button and uh, share it with your friends. What I want to talk about today is the difference between a hybrid and an off-grid inverter. Uh, and look, I'm just as bad talking about this because I come from an off-grid world. That's basically what we specialize in, is off-grid solar systems. And even if the grid's available, from my point of view, when the grid fails, we want to install solar systems for customers that everything works just as normal. There's no difference. So, um, but making that happen can be a very expensive exercise. So I'm going to pick on Delta today. So um, a lot of customers come into the shop and uh, they get deceived by these pretty pictures that companies make. Uh, I'm not picking on Delta because it's a, it's a bad product. I'm just picking on Delta because I get a lot of quotes for Delta to be used off grid from a certain company in town here. Uh, and it doesn't work. So it's actually not rated to be used off grid. So there's a big difference between a hybrid inverter and an off grid inverter. So these pretty pictures here, you know, from a point of view from a customer, I think they whack up a solar panel and uh, a battery that's going to run all this in their house. So um, with, with a hybrid inverter, it's really important. Uh, a few years ago, a lot of guys got stung with a product called an Alpha ESS. Um, where the inverters were not rated to be used in an off-grid situation, but they had off-grid written on them. Um, and everyone that installed those inverters lost their support. Uh, I know Michael Mobbs in Sydney from the Sustainable House, um, he got burnt um, from that process, which is unfortunate for Michael, uh, because the inverter had on it off-grid. So what the off-grid means in, in China uh, is there's a blackout, a temporary blackout for half an hour, an hour, or something like that. It's not designed to be used completely off-grid all the time. So yeah, so if you, you look at certificate of suitability, this here is a hybrid grid tied inverter. So it's designed to be tied with the grid. Um, so it's really, really important that you understand that. Um, so yeah, so what a lot of people get deceived about with these hybrid solutions is how they work. Um, a hybrid solution, what happens is most hybrid solutions on the market, I'll use Sonnen as an example. A Sonnen only has a 2,500 watt battery inverter in it. So if you're pulling 5,000 watts from all these circuits here, which you had the air conditioner running, you had your induction cooktop going, you had all these things going at once, you'd be pulling more than 2,500 watts. So what a Sonnen will do is a Sonnen will grab 2,500 watts from the battery and then it'll grab the excess from the grid to bring in to help support that load. So even though it's nighttime, you've got a battery and you think I'm doing everything for batteries, you're not because your inverter, your battery inverter can only pull 2,500 watts and the rest of it gets pulled from the grid. So this is really important to think about and understand because in an off-grid situation, um, you've only got 2,500 watts of inverters. So for us, where we are, we're rural New South Wales and most of our installs happen uh, and even some of our jobs at the back of Sydney, um, customers are not connected to town water. Uh, you're, when you're connected to town water, your water will always work in a blackout situation. Uh, if you're connected to town water, but people that are not, the water pump can pull 2,500 watts every time you just flush the toilet or, or turn a tap on. So if you've only got a battery hybrid, if you get a hybrid inverter with a 2,500 watt inverter, um, you can't flush the toilet and um, you know have the aircon and stuff on at the same time. So the way I like to talk about this is dedicated circuits. So what are the dedicated circuits gonna work in a, in a blackout situation if you're a hybrid customer? Um, so yeah, so with this, um, the Delta, oh, we'll just bring up the brochure here. So the Delta is actually a pretty good inverter um, when you come to look at it from um, oh, you know, Amazon, we want this brochure. Here we go. So from a, um, a point of view of a battery backup, so the charging capacity of this battery can only charge the batteries at 2,500 watts per hour but the discharge, you've actually got a 3.6 kilowatt discharge, which is actually better than most on the market for a hybrid inverter, So, uh, which is not bad. Um, they're using Panasonic cells, which is the same, I won't say the exact same cell as Tesla use, but Tesla and Panasonic have a relationship, uh, and Panasonic is uh, who basically manufactures Tesla cells. So for this Delta hybrid inverter in a blackout situation, you've only got an inverter of 3.6 kilowatts. Um, available to use load. So 
it's really important you understand what dedicated circuits from your hybrid inverter can be used in a blackout situation. Um, because you don't want to have a system installed and go, yep, I've got batteries, I've got this, and you have a blackout and it doesn't work. So it'd be really important when you, someone's designing you a system that, especially off-grid, um, make sure the inverter is a proper off-grid inverter because the cost is it's chalk and cheese. Um, the cost between putting a proper off-grid inverter in, in a hybrid solution in your house uh, and put, yeah, so off-grid and hybrid is a very different cost because a hybrid inverter relies on the fact that it's got the grid there to help support it majority of the year. You know, like if you think about how many times you have a blackout, it's very rare. So hybrid inverters are designed that, right, most of the time the heavy lifting, if there's something too much for us, we're going to use the grid to help support and not break the inverter. We're an off-grid situation. They've got no backup. Um, you know, there is generator options. Um, but, you know, from a design point of view, when they manufacture a proper off-grid system, an off-grid inverter, the building say, hey, look, we've got no backup. This customer potentially might hate generators, not want to run them. So we require to be able to support that load for a lo very long period of time all by myself. So the, the designers of off-grid inverters have very different um, specifications to work to than the um, hybrid inverters. So hybrid inverters are not used, not designed to be used for a long period of time. Off-grid by themselves support really heavy loads. So just something to think about guys and be very um, aware of if you are getting a quote for an off-grid solar system, uh, I'm seeing more and more companies quote people hybrid inverters for an off-grid solution and they're gonna have some very unhappy customers to deal with in the future. And what happens is when people think that a, a hybrid inverter in a battery and it's all designed around a budget um, to try and do its thing, um, they're going to have some warranty issues to deal with in the future uh, and some unhappy customers. So if you're an educated customer, um, make sure you do your research and don't get caught out being sold a hybrid inverter for an off-grid. And if you are putting a hybrid inverter in your house, that it's going to run the dedicated circuits that you want to run when there's a grid failure. So um, yeah, it's important that you understand that. So guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate um, hitting the like button and the share. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys off grid.